Hello everybody, uh, this is the last video of the three tutorials so as usual we will go to start all programs, del cam, feature cam, click this video is uh, the two previous videos were about 2.5D but this one is about 3D which is uh, this tutorial is about uh, creating features to to how make a uh, PC mouse. First of all, as usual, go to new and then select milling millimeter none. Okay, and again go to uh, file, click import, go to the directory tutorials sample three use the wizard to establish the initial setup location and check size uh, and deselect the launch uh, auto feature recognition click next again click next next and this is the uh, shape of the stock is block just click next and this is compute so as we can uh, make the stock as the uh, shape of the part that we have uh, imported again we can see it's here the XYZ need to come to the lower left up that's alright click next next and finish for this one uh, again right click uh, or just no need right now we have this uh, PC mouse let's uh, start making the first feature which is side select extract with feature recognition click next select side surfaces so just click next and select the side we want to remove this side one add and the other side add also as previously I mentioned you can just click on this side with holding the control key and select the side then in one time just uh, click plus or add icon click next this is cutting uh, side or machining side to right side that's alright click next and the side we want to remove or the material is from top to bottom from 0 to minus 30 because at the top is 0 going up is plus and going down is minus just click next no draft angle, no chamfer, no bottom radius and the depth is 30 millimeter. click next all the strategies have been chosen or have been selected by the feature cam click next this is tool number 8 but tool number uh, this tool number 8 is about 20 millimeter length uh, that the cutting edge but this one is 30 so I will select tool number 2 again because it is uh, longer than the tool number 8 again tool number 2 click next next and going to another feature which is a new feature for us uh, it is for we, we use this uh, a feature it, uh, it will be used for the 3D so it just select surface milling click next again you, you see it's different from the previous one it's not side so in this situation uh, I wanted to surface uh, uh, machine the surface so just click this side add this side add I wanted to surface this click next and from the strategy 
you have two options first you can uh, create this feature by just single operation and you can make it in three operations which is rough semi finish and finish uh, this depends on you uh, for this tutorial is optional to choose the w single operation or the uh, in 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 three options but to, to complete the machine or to so as to get a fine surface you can choose this so we will uh, create the feature in three steps click next and the tool diameter the only tool uh, the, the ball and tool that we have uh, on the weaver it is uh, 10 millimeter diameter so change this 12 to 10 and this is a z, uh, z level uh, rough we have 3d pocket and 3d boss uh, the pocket 3d pocket it starts from inside to outside and both from outside to inside so it just it's automatically chosen which is uh, better and again choose this tool diameter to 10 and it's optional to and uh, choose the uh, any of these I'll prefer the parallel and in uh, parallel to X because I want to just uh, machine this side or the surface like this coming uh, parallel to the Z axis click next automatic surface curvature not set tool diameter which is 10 again and because previ in the previous step for the semi finish uh, I have chosen the parallel as well I will choose parallel click next this is the tool for the rough I don't need this I want to change it to tool number uh, where's the ball end yes tool number 4 tool end click center tool this is full end click next next I want this next 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 and here we have tool number four for the rough semi finish and finish then click finish right now all uh, of the features is side and surface milling features well where finish it so right now I will simulate quickly it's just calculating and you can see it's and code details and let's simulate it in 3d yes you can see it's parallel to X axis and let's finish yes right click front you can notice from here that the uh, tool path for the uh, surface milling rough pass it comes down uh, more than the minus 30 so maybe it is uh, it's already uh, minus 5 because the radius of the end of the tool is 5 millimeters so it comes to uh, the this edge so to prevent uh, cutting the stock of the CNC machine you can uh, put a limit for the tool that couldn't come down more than this how we can do that just eject go to the service milling and to the go to the ref milling go to the Z end if you take a look from here to here is 2 millimeter so I will enter minus 28 the bottom is minus 30 so just for safety uh, I will uh, enter minus 28 set also for the Z increment 
how much the tool comes down in each uh, path you can select as you like it depends on the tool you will use the fit rate the speed and the material of the stock so just I will choose minus uh, sorry I will choose 2.5 also the uh, set this one for the finish parallel also we have Z just put minus 28 set for the finish also set minus 28 set apply just check this is minus 28 this is minus 28 that's all right and let's uh, simulate again now you can notice that the uh, this is the uh, limit of the uh, ball and tool that couldn't come down more than uh, minus 28 so this is 2 millimeter just for safety and you can notice this is the red tool path this is a red tool path it's for this side and we don't have any problem with this side because it's flat end it uh, doesn't cut the bottom uh, or the stock of the CNC machine I can deselect this one and machine again look it is just the round uh, height stock look we don't have any tool path here so just again you can see that or this is in 3D machine that's all right and again from the uh, operation list result you can see this is rough pass for side one and finish pass a rough pass for the surface milling semi finish this one and this is the finish and this is the result we have got so for the uh, you can see that's all right the feet speed depth and this is the detail of the manufacturing offering sheet it shows you the time it is just in 30 minutes stock aluminium material operation and the power required or estimation of the power required for each operation and the time for each operation also we have the tool list we have just two tools tool number two and tool uh, number four and we have the NC codes if you uh, take a look at the NC codes uh, there's a lot of blocks because uh, it's already in curve not just uh, curvature and 3D you need a lot of movement uh, that's all and as well you can right click or just control A on the keyboard control C copy and open a new uh, notepad file paste the NC code save and transfer to the NC2 machine the uh, part after installing also I want to save it as uh, sample 1 sample 2 this is sample 3 save I don't want to change default fingers no and we have alternatively as I talked about previously NC code you can save it like this either like the control A copy paste or just uh, creating the uh, NC code file with the text extension and that's all and thank you for watching this is the end of the third sample of the tutorial this is Dildar Aladdin thank you for watching again bye bye